Uh, just thought I'd go over my um, this lovely Steyr, my favourite rifle. <clears throat> um, I love this gun. I think it's got such. It's one of the most beautiful looking air rifles I've ever seen. Looks like a full bore hunting rifle. It's an amazing bit of kit. Um, I've updated it a bit. I've put a. Uh, I put that twink. Twink silencer that I got from a and super efficient. It makes it really quiet because it's got quite a bark on this Steyr. Fair dues, has got a bark on it. Um, but not with that on it, hasn't it? It's really quiet. <clears throat> um, why my IOR scope's living on my Priest, I've got that Enfield scope that I've put back on this. Um, and it's just an awesome gun. It really is lovely. I mean, look at that stock. I mean, fair dues, that is a beautiful piece of woodwork. It's just beautiful. It's just so well finished, so markings, grain on it, everything. It's just a really nice gun. The finish on it, everything's just bob on on this rifle. The trigger's awesome, everything. And I can shoot, even I can shoot, at sort of 35 yards, you know, get two magazines worth of pellets 10 pellets through that it's just a blisteringly good rifle um, I've been trying it out I've been shooting it for ages with um, the uh, QIS um, heavies um, and fair dues it shoots extraordinarily well with those um, but I've been trying out these exact um, these JBS um, exact JSB, pardon me. JSB match Diablo exact heavy Diablos. Um, slightly lighter, ten point three four grains. They shoot really well through it as well. Quite impressed with those. That's a group with those. So nothing wrong there. Um, so yeah, I'm loving this gun. I've had it a while now. I've had it quite a long time actually, um, and it's just fantastic. It is so good, so accurate, such a nice looking gun, it's just about the right weight, it's not too heavy, um, but it's not too light to be all floaty, I love the way it handles, comes up to the shoulder so quick, so natural, it's just an epically lovely rifle, um, yeah, so I must admit, it's one of my all-time favourites. Really is an all-time favourite. Um, like I say, I've had this a good while now. And it's just fantastic. Um, five shot, semi-auto, self-indexing. Um, Biathlon style lever on the side to cock it. Cock it once, five shots out of it. Uh little thumb safety in just the right place just falls nicely I love the way it's got these little grooves cut into the stock here and these uh, finger grips this grip fits my hand absolutely perfectly it's just lovely it's got a big enough pass through bit there to get everything in you know you can have quite big hands and still get a really nice grip on this it's just dead nice. Nice checkering as well. It actually works because it's quite quite deep. Feels quite deep. And then if you prefer a, a grip a bit more further forward, you've got this cut into the woodwork. It's not just a little sort of tiny etch. It's actually cut into the woodwork. So that gives us a bit more grip as well. A little sort of semi schnabel tip on the end. It's got a full length barrel. It's quite a long rifle. Um, they do make this in what they call the Scout version, which is uh, got a sort of carbine barrel on it with a shorter air cylinder. But I actually like the full length one. I think it just looks, it's just a spectacularly good looking rifle, really. Um, the wood they use for the stocks is really nice. I've seen some, I mean, this is a nice one, but I've seen some really stunning bits of wood um, that they've used for the stocks on some of these. are bloody gorgeous. Um, and it's you know it's just kept so well you know I mean this has had a lot of use in the field 
a lot of use. Not missed a beat. Not missed a single beat. For a long term rifle I've had for a while. You know, it's just not missed that beat. A single beat, nothing's gone wrong with it at all. Touch wood. But nothing's gone wrong with it. Never missed a beat. It's been nothing but superbly reliable. These little stick magazines, easy to use. It's just, it's just a fantastic bit of kit. It really is. It's a lovely rifle. Um, yeah, I love taking this out. One of my favourites, got to say. One of my favourites. Couldn't be more different from the uh, RTI Priest 2 or the uh, the uh, the Oregon, the Oregon Compact that I've got. Couldn't be more different um, as regards its looks and all the rest of it. But it's, it's just a stunning gun. Don't get me wrong, both of those guns are brilliant. That Oregon Compact as a night shooting rifle, as my night gun. Lime, it's had some rabbits now, that has. And that RTI Priest in .25 calibre. Um, that .25 calibre is a bit of a rev revelation, really. Shooting that thing is it's just incredible. As long as you've got time to um, check out your range, then that thing's an incredible bit of kit. And I'm thinking of buying, looking into buying a, uh, a range finder that fits on the scope. Or fits on the side of the one of the Picatinny rails up that are on the uh, the priest, so that when I'm shooting it in two five caliber, I'll be able to get a quicker readout of range, rather than um, using the uh, my Leica rangefinder LRF. So I think that could be on the purchase list, possibly in the next couple of months, to get one of those to fit on it, so I can get a quicker readout of the uh, of the range. Either that, or my other option was once the um, the nights draw out and I stopped night shooting, I was thinking of actually because the Pard's got an inbuilt rangefinder anyway. I was actually thinking that that might suit the the, the uh, trajectory and the of the um, the two five cal. So I might put my Pard um, onto the Priest for day use, um, and then put that rather fancy IOR scope on the Oregon or possibly back on this again I haven't decided yet so there she is beautiful beautiful rifle I've had it quite a long time it shot an awful lot of game not missed a beat it's been out in all weathers and it's not missed a beat never anything has gone wrong with this rifle nothing nothing at all I've got apps it's it's probably one of the few guns that I've ever had where really I've got no, just can't find fault with it. It's just, just a fantastic gun. Pinpoint accurate. Sometimes the first shot out of the magazine's a fraction higher. Just a fraction. Um, and if you look, you can see, I think you can just about see there, that first shot out of the mag is a fraction higher than the others. Just a fraction, nothing much, but it always seems to do it. It seems to shoot the first one out of the mag a tiny bit higher than the others. You know, I mean, nothing catastrophic. It's not a flyer or anything, but it is, you know, it's, what is it? It's, well, it's next to nothing, but it always seems to shoot the first one a little bit high. Um, but other than that, this rifle is superb. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.